Intro after all, only partially so. <laughs> Yo, I'm very good at this whole uh, YouTube streaming thing, aren't I? Aren't I, uh, y'all, bimps. Do y'all want to be called bimps? That's pretty good, right? Wait. Uh... Sorry, I saw, I saw something semi-important. How are y'all doing? We're gonna finish Scorn. Prepping for bed, taking my laptop with me. I'll be my usual salty, argumentative- Yo, g get banished, son. Bimp. Ugh, it's Saturday. I have, um, let's see, one-seventh of a coffee left in my cup. Now one-eighth. And, uh, we're gonna do some spoopy games. We are simps, Bimple. I don't like that. <laughs> I, I occasionally jokingly refer to myself as a simp. But, you know it's not okay, right? We know what- we- do we understand why it's not okay? Am I, uh, alone in this? Did Bimple just banish me to the Shadow Realm? Bimp sounds like the second oldest profession. <laughs> um, that's pretty good, Neville. I don't- I don't know if I would agree. <laughs> Bimp to me sounds like, hey, look behind you, it's the Goodyear Bimp. That's a, that's an ancient callback. Remember when blimps used to be, like, a, like, semi-common occurrence? I don't, I don't, I can't remember the last time I've seen a blimp. You know, say what you will about Scorn, but it did give us evil baby fetuses that we juice. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I appreciate that. What the heck? Why did I take damage there? We have to- we have to fight this guy again because I didn't understand what I was supposed to do in the last episode. The fact that you don't like us calling ourselves simps is part of what makes it so perfect. Oh. I see. Well, I, I have to assume I did that much better than last time, because I had very little to no health last time I did this. Ah, my child. I need to put you in the juicer. <laughs> oh, this game is like one big content warning, huh? I love... I don't know. Maybe I just have a sick sense of humor, but I just love how the... Like, the- the face on this child is, like, looking up, like, <sighs> Yes, my, my father. Uh. I'm a ten. I don't believe you. I do not believe what you that what you just said is factually true. The Hindenburg was a long time ago, was it not? You you could not have been alive, unless you're talking about on YouTube. Did you get rid of your extra arms? No, no. Extra arms are like now growing roots into our arms and stuff, and it's extra bad. So like here's the here's the crux of the new problem. 
is um, you you just saw those roots grow. Now I can't change my weapon because the roots have actually like fused the weapon to its like uh, extra chunky slot, right? See, it can't can't change the weapon, and uh, I don't really have you know the use of my limbs right now. You can see my my dude is like huh. Although I have to say, he really probably could ha could do it, but whatever. Um, you know, if he really wanted to, he could do it. So we have to solve a crime. I swear I'm not a vampire. Why would you even think that I would be? I don't know. Maybe because of what you just said. So we do have this ability. She's pretty good. I'm not really sure what we're gonna be doing over here. I was kind of rushing last time because um, I sensed that the end was near, but uh, it turns out it was actually like I had 20 minutes or so left of this game. Uh, it seems to me I'm gonna need my limb for this, so I would we have a fun little device. I see. I see the crux of the of the puzzle right here. Okay, I get it. Um, so we have a fun device here, which does uh, one thing, and I don't really understand the purpose of this device, but it uh, grinds our arm, <laughs> and and uh, violently so. Um, so that's cool. Um, we have tons of things and it looks like they're gonna give us more health so I have to fight I have more fighting yet to do sorry I have to unhide that for a message from Neville um, all, you, all you can do now is putting your load into holes true um, can we get in here oh right I can't get in here because oh we do we have an extra fun gadget here okay cool so this is how this works. Isn't that fun? Now that's gonna regrow in about two seconds. So I have like two seconds to do something with my arm. So uh, that is the crux of the puzzle, is uh, we get like two seconds of limb, limb uh, usage. Seems to me I'm looking for, oh I see, I get it, okay. <clears throat> well, I'll just wait. I guess that counts. It totally clips through something, but whatever. Uh, every single thing in Scorn is probably made of human. So all you can do now is put your load in holes. How did YouTube detect that sentence to <laughs> not safe for work? I think it was the word load, actually. Hmm. So I'm gonna need another fun device. Yeah, I can't even load the weapon if I don't have my arm. Like, that's just brutal. So I should be able to do this. I gotta say, this is my least favorite puzzle mechanic. Possibly of all time. I think it's just kind of not good. Load holes, words, combos, probably what did you... Except, I'm a tan, that you just said load and holes, and it didn't shadow ban you. Curious. <laughs> Cur it, the, the, the load thickens, as they say, um, as, as we still try to puzzle out what, in fact, um, makes the YouTube algorithm tick. 
message retracted. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to heal a couple times. There's a door over here I have to open. Where is that door? Okay, I gotta run over there. Uh, it's mostly just the loud screechy sound every time this happens that I don't like. But also, it's like this weird faux timing thing that I have to deal with that just doesn't really make much sense. Like, I'm taking dam- like, the game is telling me I'm taking damage as if I, there's anything I can do about that. It's just a weird conflict of information. Like... You know what I mean? That's the kind of sound you give the player when they, they're supposed to be doing something about it. Putting quotations around the words. His condition of the roots reminds me of eczema. <laughs> well, this is a nice little view that we get for free. It's a lot of work that went into that view. I don't think we can go over there like at all. I might be wrong about that. I am gonna have to do something with this. I'm not exactly sure what. Can I even make this run? Something tells me that no, I cannot, in fact. Well, we'll try. Let me heal. Fun arm gadget, love it. The aesthetic is really carrying the gameplay, absolutely correct. Can I make it to the fun device? Yes, yes I can. Oh, ouchie. Oh, are we removing the thing? What is happening? Not even a sweet goodbye. Also, we're not okay right now. <laughs> look at our- look at us stumble. Hey, bot. How you doing? Probably I do not have a lot of time left in this world. So I'm curious what this is. I'm wondering if I should not do this, whatever this is. Cause I I've got my I've got the blood thing back. So I, I should go and insert the blood thing. I just like I don't wanna end up accidentally walking into some kind of, like, decision that I, I don't understand. Kind of like in the beginning of this game. So, I want to insert the, the blood sample, the fetus jar, into the... Oh, I can't go back that way. What? Make, make that make sense to me. Why can't I go back? Okay, I guess that's why I'm going this way. Why did- why is that closed off? I don't understand. 
I hate cat noises at night. They are nightmare fuel. They're, they're kind of not okay, yeah. Fighting cats. Well, <laughs> fighting? <laughs> That's what they're doing. They're definitely just fighting. <laughs> that, that decision was the last one in the game. I was serious? Okay. Uh. See, I have problems with that as well. Like, I think if you're gonna do something like that, there should be a reason. It really just seems like the most out of nowhere, nonsensical moral decision I've ever seen in a game. Dude, you, you just, just, come on. You can make it. Just a few more steps. We're good. You're good. Don't worry about it. Like here. Oh, can we not use our tick? I apparently cannot use the tick. I guess the uh, the creature had the tick, didn't it? Um. So I guess I can't heal myself right now. Yeah. All I have is the is the fetus jar. It's, um, I don't know, there's a lot of decisions in Scorn. I was thinking about this, actually, uh, on, like, a, you know, a walk to, to the grocery store. Is I think that, I think that Scorn, the way it kind of came about was that, um, obviously the world was, um, you know, pri the primary feature. Like, it's something that the devs wanted to to make a reality and they did that of course like very well the artistic direct uh um direction in in scorn is impeccable right but they're like yeah but we need a game to kind of frame that so what do we want to do in this world well if it's gory um we're gonna shoot stuff and we're we, you know, we also, you know, the puzzles, I think that really just came down to, um, we, we need the, the main protagonist to interact with flesh devices. I think that was basically like scripted down, like the, the, you know, the, the main character needs to interact and, and, uh, you know, play with flesh devices. And this, this world is a, a world of flesh technology. Because, you know, that, that makes it interesting. That's something to, to kind of work with. So, the you know, the script was kind of called for, okay, you know, player's going to enter this zone, do something with this, play with the flesh device. We're going to spawn a monster. Combat scene is going to happen here. And so it was all just kind of like, you know, laid out in a way. And I'm not saying it wasn't intelligently done. It wasn't, I'm not saying it was, uh, was thrown together haphazardly. I'm saying that it was, um, the gameplay was possibly the second thought. Okay, what are we doing here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up if this is the ending. Okay.
Okay. That, that surely is us. That is us for a lot of this game. Switch? What do you mean, switch? What? There's some fun things happening here. We are also a robot pregnant lady. What what is the what is the necess necessity of the hook device exactly? Also, are we going to like walk out walk, you know, snap the cord on this guy's brain? That would be not good. Oh. Do we need him to do this thing again? No. I think I need to be the other person. What happens if we get untethered? Yeah, I mean, that's the question. It seems like um, that cord has got plenty of forgiveness on it, so that's good. This truly is a flesh wall, isn't it? I feel like everything in Scorn has been fairly dead. But this wall is very alive. Also, is this the first time we've had, like, music in Scorn? If you could call it that? How come this door is not fully opening? Oh, I see. I think I'm gonna have to do it the other way around, maybe? I don't know. That truly is a, an album cover right here, isn't it? Not sure what we're doing here. I love the reverse skull thing happening. It's pretty fun. Screenshot bait the game. I think that's maybe a little bit undermining of it. I think that this game genuinely has an amazing art style and direction. Um, it's just like maybe some of the gameplay lets it down so we can't we cannot do this for sure so this this person holding the body absolutely cannot do this part unless he can because the thing is is the body we're carrying right now nope okay we should be able to do this part because he could just shove we could just shove our own arm into the device there
I love how we have a puzzle at the very last second here. Question, do I have everything I need to solve this puzzle right now, or is there something I'm missing? Ah, yes. Okay, we can't go back for sure. I was just curious. So we have everything we need to solve this puzzle. Just walk in after it opens, you got the puzzle done. Oh, okay. Is it really just... You just walk in before it closes? The door's gonna close on our brainstem, though. Why? We're slowing down. Yo, that's a that's a that's a album cover as well. What are we looking at? Oh no! What's the end game here, pal? Yeah, that's a heartbeat for sure. Um, continue where you left off. Yeah. Can I just uh, see myself in the flesh prison? 
I don't know if that's it, Kevbo. I think that it's a ending. Where are we? What the heck is this? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I was just curious where 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 left off would really mean. Um Yeah, I mean It is what it is. Um I I mean I've heard a lot of people n not enjoy the ending and I understand why. Um I think the reason it's it's it, it's kind of frustrating is because you spend so much of the game suffering with this stupid gremlin thing on your back that um like seeing it win at the end is just like really annoying. <laughs> it's not even like oh that sucks, you know, it's it's not even a tragedy. Like a tragedy works when you care. Um but it's just annoying, you know? Like, it's annoying to see this m malicious thing win. Um, when you've spent so much of the game suffering to, to make it not win. You know, to... to I, and the thing is, like, this game, this game and world and story are so indecipherable. Like, you really don't know what your character is doing. And you don't know what they're, what they're motivated by. You don't know what they're trying to do. So when you finally, maybe, sort of, at the end, see some kind of uh, substance to the, the motivation, like, oh, this is where the character was going. This is what they were trying to do. Question mark? Um, do, I don't know, enter the light, of the, the, the big old light sure um i don't know what that means it it doesn't really make a lot of sense but sure um just just let it happen and then show us something cool maybe i don't know um but instead we are treated to like the basically the, the rest of the entire game which is your dude trapped with a friend you're they're the odd couple you know <laughs> Do 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 do. <laughs> that is a reference to a show that probably no one in chat knows. This game would make for a nice short film. Yikes! Forever, honestly. Um, you know, so I'm not really. I don't think I'm really saying anything new. Um, the 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 game has been like heavily criticized for many reasons, and I get it. Um, but I still think it's worth the time. Now, I am looking at the store, and it is $44 Canadian. Would I have spent $44 on this? I've talked in the past about, um, what is a game worth, uh, and how much time is worth your money. And this game is $5. Sorry, sorry, five hours. I did beat it in five hours. And I was probably pretty slow. Like... You know, I was struggling a little bit. Um, I'm sure with... I'd say you could probably beat the game in four hours. Now, when I say beat the game, I think that's honestly very undermining of this game. I think the best part about this game really is the world. Um, and it really is the way things fit together. It is... You're here for the spectacle of it. And it is very clear to me that there was a ridiculous amount of effort put into the game. So I understand why it's $40 ish. Oh no, the ending is a tragedy because we, the protagonist who exactly failed to reach the place where we were going because reasons. Yeah. I mean, it's a tragedy because like, and you're right. I, I see what you're saying, Vid. It's like, um, how a tragedy only kind of makes sense if, we're sorry that the ending, that the, the protagonist didn't get what they wanted, but we didn't know what they wanted until basically the last second. So, yeah, like, we didn't even have a carrot. We were given the stick for the entire game, and at the very last moment, we're offered the carrot, and then we get the stick again. That's why it's annoying. That, I, I, you, you know what? You summed it up perfectly, Vid. You, you made me realize why it's so frustrating. We were given the stick the entire game and then when offered the carrot at the end, 